Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? There is a canvas, what you have background, you have given green color, slight green and there is a rectangle here. By click of this button, we are, we are able to move this by increasing in the horizontal and vertical coordinates. So even we can uh, place four buttons and move it in four different directions. Even we can use the arrow buttons to move it also. And even image we can move and we can also move the image by using a mouse uh, by drag and drop method. So we'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. So this is our blank template and uh, we have the Kinter here, TK, then parent window, what you are display and two variables width and height we have declared. We are given the data as uh, or the value as 8, 10 and 620. You can change it and using this will relatively will adjust the other variable. So at a central point, we can change any time. So for that, because we are going to use a canvas, we'll define the canvas width and height. So C underscore width, this is for the canvas and C underscore height. This is for the canvas again, height of the canvas. Now I am saying width minus, uh, you can give any value, I am giving 10. So whatever the width of the, uh, uh, with the window uh, or the main par parent window, minus 10. Now similarly, height minus 45. So this is because one button will keep it below. So we are given more. So this is the dimension what you will take. So if I change the, at the line number 3, width and height, automatically my canvas also data will change. Now I have to keep the uh, dimensions uh, to create the window. So I am uh, converting it to a string and then saying width because this is the window width and uh, again plus this is the format I have to use. So I am by using str I am converting the integers into string then again plus now I am adding one more str because I am converting the height height. So these two I am converting to string and creating another string. So this string I will use it to create my uh, window size or my underscore w parent window line number two then geometry. This dimension I have I could have written directly also but it is easy to maintain by changing a data in a variable. So that's why we have maintained it like that. So our window is ready. Now let's place the our canvas on that ck equal to tk dot canvas this canvas our parent window is my underscore w it is not root many people write it as root so we are written my underscore w at line number two that we are saying use that now what is the width here the width will say c underscore width this is what that is why we had at line number four we had declared that width height equal to c underscore height so these two values, because based on the parent window dimension, this dimension also will change. That is the reason. And slightly, we'll, to just differentiate it, we'll give a light uh, green background. You can give light yellow or yellow, whatever color you want, you can give that one. Now let me just place it on a grid. So c1.grid, the canvas grid I am declaring. So I will say row equal to 1 and column equal to 0 okay it's the first one so I can give you 0 or 1 whatever it is slightly pad x I'm not flushing with the left as right as pad, pad x equal to 5 and pad y it is from the top uh, I'm maintaining a gap of 5 so that's all now pad x sorry pad x equal to 5 and pad y equal to 5 so I have now created the uh, my canvas is ready. Now below that I will keep a button also. Let me just place the button then we'll have a look how this looks and subsequently the same layout we'll use to create the how to move the rectangles on a through a mouse through multiple buttons and all. So same uh, layout we'll use. So I am giving a button and my underscore w parent window text I am writing over that is move and uh, there will be a command of course I am not writing that because that function is there so here also again I am uh, slightly busy equal to I am giving yellow so background is yellow and uh, let me give slightly bigger font so it will be visible easily 14 I have given now this uh, button let me place it on the grid so I am giving a grid now row equal to now why row equal to 2 because 1 is the canvas so below that I am giving so and column equal to 0 the first column the same one 
so that's all now on this canvas we'll place one rectangle so that then we'll see that this rectangle will, will try to move this one so for that purpose uh, or let's just see this once how this looks here it is canvas move i'm running it yeah here is my canvas the green part is the canvas and the bottom is here now it will not do anything because we have not written anything we'll add the rectangle here so i'm just clear declaring two more coordinates like x1 y1 so these values i will give now what happened x1 value i am giving 5 x1 is from the left horizontal or from the zero it starts from the left edge and y value or vertical value zero starts from the top edge so x1 is i am giving a five gap from the left edge now what should be my y1 value or the uh, from the top how much i will give here i will do one thing i'll convert it to integer now c height or canvas height i will take so canvas height i will divide it by 2 so what i am doing is wherever whatever the my canvas height is i am just dividing it by 2 so I, there will maybe some fractions or decimals will come so i am converting it into by using int i am converting into integer and that is where the y1 means my rectangle the top left edge will be placed at the center of the uh, vertically center so now similarly i i will go for x2 y2 x2 y2 is the uh, coordinate for the right side bottom part of the rectangle so just look at this diagram you can understand what is x1 and what is uh, x1 y1 and x2 y2 so this is the rectangle to draw it so i am just defining now what i will do x1 plus 15 now this will be y2 will be y1 plus 15 now you can understand that 15 is my height and width of the uh, rectangle or it's because 15 15 i have used so i can call it as a square also so this is the coordinates of x2 y2 the x1 y1 i have just found out just given by 5 from the left edge and from the center of the top then x2 y2 i have just added 15 so it is the this x2 y2 is the bottom right coordinates now i will draw the rectangle now so i am giving the name r1 equal to c1 c1 is my canvas so create rectangle create okay all these have come up i will select rectangle so i am giving for a rectangle this requires coordinates starting coordinate x1 y1 this is the top left then where it will end so i will say white uh, x2 this is the bottom right x2 y2 we have just calculated above now i will give a little color to this fill equal to red so red color fill will be there now that's all now my i should able to display the rectangle on the canvas let's just see how this uh, coming up so i run it let's see yeah you can see here the rectangle is here if suppose to understand the rectangle better now i i will just increase this 15 to let's say i am giving this to uh, 40 45 so i am sorry this is increasing to 45 i am okay 45 and the y to 2 also i am increasing to 45 now my uh, the size of the rectangle will increase because width and height i am increased to 45 now let's just see this so this should be a yeah you can see a bigger but this x1 y1 remains same this one is increased to, to 45 so height and width in the earlier it was 15 now it is 45 so x2 y2 value keeps on increasing based on what i am adding we'll add functionality to our button by uh, moving the um, rectangle so for that i'll say command this is the button uh, click button function i am using whenever the user clicks lambda now what the la this function will do is my move my move here i am placing x now what is this x why i am writing like this we'll see now now i have to create the function so here it is define now my move now here i will receive the event here i will not use it but the same functionality will use it when for buttons other things so that is why when you use the arrow key to maintain a commonality i am using the event here and passing a dummy you can say so i'll just inside this i will write my move code so c1 dot move what it is r1 which i am moving is the object or the rectangle which i have created at line number 
12 here it is so this r1 i am moving now i have to give two two options here one is step I am writing again step and step. Okay, I have not declared it. Let me write it here. Step is a variable. Step equal to 5. Now, what I what this step mean mean is this value is what the code in the my rectangle top left will jump. So R1 is there. Now this is the X jump and this is the Y jump. So in the uh, horizontal direction, how much the jump will be that time? It is the jump, not the absolute value. The incremental value or jump or the step whatever you call it that much jump in the x direction i can move more also if i'll change this value then i can move more also so that is what whenever i click this button this particular function will be executed and it will move by this much step value step i have fixed it at five i can change it also so let us just see see the demo then you will change and the directions also will monitor accordingly how it is so here it is so i am moving Yes, you can see five, five, five steps it is moving and each time the X value and the Y value is increasing by five. That is why it is coming downward. X is increasing means it is moving towards the right direction. Y is increasing means it is moving towards downward direction. Say I, I want it to move in upward direction. What I will do, I will just make it minus. See, first one is horizontal or X movement. The next value is the my vertical or the Y movement. So I am make give this a negative. Now what will happen if I run this now? You can see the move. You can see it is X is increasing horizontally and Y is increasing vertically. So it is moving at the top direction. Similarly, say I will I can give this as a negative also, but this is for that. Let me just position this bit. Uh, this also. So I what I will do? Let me place it at around 150. So. I will have sufficient space for the movement in the left direction. So I, that is why we are using variable. So easily we can control this. So here it is. Now I am moving. You just see which direction it is. Uh, X is in the negative. So you can see here uh, both I am given negative X and Y. So negative means it is moving up direction. Okay, that's all. Now what happens now suppose I want okay, let me place multiple functions will place and move it in a different different directions so all the four directions then we'll add the arrows to it then we'll integrate the mouse movement also so by dragging i can place the mouse drag it to another place and leave it that is like drag and drop all this we'll see but before that practice this next we'll go to the adding the buttons arrows and all all those stuff will add up uh, so i'll request you uh, please practice this one and Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add the next tutorial all about the canvas movements and all. And please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.